beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome back, guys. Thank you for joining me here, Sagittarius. Let's get to your messages, Sagittarius. Bonus reading for the beautiful Sag spirit. What does Sag need to be aware of at this time? Sagittarius, please and thank you. The sacred waters, nourishment, replenishment, health, rest, self-care. Ooh, falling back, surrender to the great mother. It's like, mom, help me. It's like surrender to the great mother. Fall into her arms and be healed. Oh, look at this, the bud. It's about to happen. Keep going, Spirit saying, just keep going. The Temple of the Rose, ancient power, expression, activation, scarlet codes opening up. Just keep going, Sagittarius. <gasps> the life you wanted, the rose without the thorns. You have the right to your joy, your peace, and the sweetness of life. Aww. Sub Rosa. Hidden in plain sight. Learning and teaching. The lineage of the rose moved by the goddess. Here for this soul call and gather. Codes of the seeds. The blueprint is within you. Take the next steps. You have everything you need right within you. You have the right to your peace. You have the right to your joy. Everything you need was right in plain sight. And that was you, Sagittarius. You have the right to your joy, the right to your peace, the right to your blessings. The right to be loved without the thorns. The blueprint is within you. It's your soul call. You're here for this. After the rain, the silver lining, relief, hope, mercy, it's over, <laughs> and acceptance. After the storm, look, there's been a storm. Look at the waters all churned up around you. But you are rising above the storm, Sagittarius. All you got to do is keep going. Everything's going to be all right. Look, look at that beautiful rainbow. Blessings. Look, Sag, you're being outlifted. This is funny that this came out. My God, I had just had a dream about this. You know, I want to tell you about this lake I went to. It was the weirdest thing that ever happened to me at this one lake. I went out fishing with my son and my daughter-in-law and my granddaughter. And something was calling to me on the other side of the lake. Now, this is a lake that's really stormy. It blows up really quick. Quick changing weather on this lake, like that. You're given within like a few seconds of these weather changes. Now, I'm used to boating and I'm used to rough water and I've boated on the sea and I've boated on the oceans and I can tell you this lake is scary. <laughs> But I was sitting there and something kept calling to me. It was like a spiritual thing calling me to the other side of this lake in a particular spot in a particular area. Now, we went across there. The water was nice and calm. There was no wind. There was no nothing. When we got close to this spot, 
that I felt was really spiritual, you should have saw the water churning. Oh my God, it freaked us all out. Water was coming at us this direction, this direction, this direction, this direction. It was like we were about to be in the midst of a hurricane. I swear to God, and the water was really murky, and we're like, I'm looking at the water, and I'm going, what is going on here? And something told me that we weren't supposed to be in that area, that something was sacred, that we had had to have asked permission first to be there. Now, I didn't think of that till I had this dream. So we left. We did not. We obeyed. We got creeped right out. So I had this dream like two nights ago about the same spot and about the same churning of the water and everything, just like this picture. We had to ask permission to go there. And this came to me in the dream that I, that, that was like three years ago, I was at that lake. And it just came to me in a dream the other night that the reason why it was so stormy and so brewy like that is that we needed to ask permission first to go ashore there, to go to the sacred spot. And I remember going to a lady at the resort where we were staying. And I says, did you ever get a weird feeling across that point of that lake? And she said, yes. Now, she had worked there for years and years and years. Like, I'm talking like 50 plus years. She's an old lady. And uh, I said, what's with that area i said is it sacred she said yes it is i said can we go there and she says if they let you and i said well I mean, I, we really could have, if we pushed the issue, we could have gone there. But I wouldn't have wanted to have been responsible for the way back. But this lady told me she she's very spiritual. And she goes, yeah, you need to be given permission to go there. And it's the local tribes used to be there that's where their homesteads were i had no idea but i knew it was sacred i knew it was so i got permission the other night in my dreams they came in they gave me permission to go there um i gotta tell you that lake is really weird when we're talking about this water i had taken my kids to the same lake when they were really little I think my youngest was less than five. I think he was like four. My oldest would have been six. And old mom's taking the kids out fishing in a little boat on a blowy lake that I shouldn't have been, have been out there. I'm like going across the lake. This is the lake that I swear I did see that rainbow. And this rainbow come down and it like shone on the lake and it guided me on a path to follow. It was calm in this one area, one strip, big as the boat, to follow this line, a direct line. And it guided us all the way back to shore. R smooth water. But you know, the funny thing is, <laughs> I was making the turnaround and I was worried about capsize in the boat like it blew up like fast and I've got two little kids in the boat what happens my youngest son gets a good damn big fish on and I'm like we're not leaving the fish so I got the fish in the bloody boat I was 
my son won, my youngest son won the fishing derby that year for the biggest fish. I'm telling you, they thought we were nuts being out there. But that's me. I was like, I had no fear when I was younger. I really still don't have a lot of fear now that I'm older. It's just that I'm more wiser. But it's this is the impression that I'm getting. Like you have the right for safe passage. You have the right of safe passage. When I called upon the universe that day to guide us safely to shore, it was there. Nobody can tell me that the waters do not hear you, the earth does not hear you, the skies do not hear you. It's like Those are the elements, guys. They hear and they know. And it's like, you have the right to safe passage. You have the right to a peaceful life, a joyful life. You have the right, but you must ask for these rights. You have to ask permission for these rights. You, like, have to go to the universe, whoever your God is, whatever you call God to you, and you have to say, I claim these rights, these inherent rights, to a peaceful, joyful life, free of turmoil and free of thorns. You just don't get it because you think you're entitled to get it. You have to ask for these things and be granted permission for these things. And these are your inherent rights. And this is the right to safe passage through this journey of life. Had I known that back in my 20s, I would have avoided so many disasters, Sagittarius. I can't even fathomably tell you how many tragedies I could have avoided and pitfalls. The blueprints are within you. Free of the thorns. Free to be at peace. This is your destiny. This is your karma. The rites of safe passage. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. It's your inherent right. The blueprints are within you. You have the compass. You have all the tools necessary. I'm telling you, it's your inherent right. This is an awakening. And somebody may not have wanted to awaken with you. I told you there's a rite of safe passage, divinely guided look, that feminine in the boat fall into her arms. You will be delivered. Look it. You know what I've never noticed about this card? It's all rough water on one side, and it's all calm on the other. And this steward is guiding the boat safely to shore. The worst is behind you. All you have to do is keep going. Safe passage home. Look, I'm telling you. The sun will come out 
tomorrow. You and your loved ones are safe on this journey. Know your value. Know your worth. See? Who gives safe passage? The universe. This is wisdom. This is knowledge. This is also learning. Look to the future. All you got to do is keep moving forward. You are being divinely guided and all you got to do is keep going. Hey, okay. follow your North Star. Hmm. Whoa, you're enlightened. Hmm. You're not alone, Sagittarius, and you have the right here to have a life full of happiness and joy and peace, a life without the thorns. You don't need to live a life of pain. You don't need to live a life of suffering. You don't need to live a life of difficulty, adversity. This is honor, integrity, respect. Your blessings, Saj. Jesus. Yep. Yep. Who cares who you piss off, Sagittarius? I don't care if you make the rest of the world mad. Nobody in the rest of the world's got to like you. As long as you like you. As long as... You know, you're pleasing God and pleasing yourself and pleasing those that matter to you. And reciprocity. Who cares if they get angry? Who cares? You're being authentic. Who cares if they get angry? Who cares? These are the gifts of the universe. Use these gifts when things get rough, when you're in rough waters. <laughs> You've got all the gifts you need to ride out the storm, Sagittarius. Be strong, be confident. You have all the tools necessary To defeat your enemy 
whatever that enemy may be. Fear. Don't just keep working, Saji. It's their choice. <clears throat> but for you, choose a life of safe passage. You've been divinely guided. Now all you got to do is keep going. This is your North Node. This is your North Star. That's that. This is really spiritual here. Just fall into Mother Nature's arms and she'll take care of you. Look. Because the universe takes care of the universes. What is not meant to stay will fall away. What is not meant for you will fall away from you. Because it's like the universe has granted you safe passage, has granted you you're entitled to a life of peace, joy, and safe passage. And I am not like talking like you're never going to have a problem or you're never going to have to face adversity. That's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> but you will have all the tools to succeed if you just keep getting up, moving forward. Take each day as it comes. Look forward to the next day. Look forward to today. And live for today. And your tomorrows will take care of their tomorrows. It's like I can't promise you and spirit can't promise you. You're never going to have a rough patch. Or you're never going to have a problem. Because that's just unrealistic. But you do have the tools to succeed through the seasons. To get through the seasons. You know, when times are up and times are down. It's like you have all the tools to manifest all your provisions, everything that you need to get you through the tough times, to get you through to the next season. You know what I mean? It's like the universe will provide. I'm just saying. I've seen it so many times in my life, I, I wouldn't even question this anymore. Like, the universe always seems to provide a way. And it always seems to provide some solution. If we only listen to it and take action on it. And it's like, all the blueprints are within you. You have all the tools that you need, Spirit is saying, to manifest the life that you want free of the thorns. You don't need painful love experiences. You don't need any more painful experiences. You've already learned. You've already been taught. And now you've learned and gained enough experience to not accept things that are not healthy for you. Look at all this water, man. Water gives life. Mother Nature can be wicked. Mother Nature can be cruel. Mother Nature will rip a strip off you more than, you know, this love relationship stuff that we go through. Like, Mother Nature? She's ferocious, man. Don't piss off Mother Nature. She's wild. <laughs> I'm just saying. 
<laughs> you know, Mother Nature can be cruel. But you have all the tools to survive it. That's it. Mother Nature, wonder why there's so much water. Well, water is the start of life. It truly is. You know, we're all born in, in a water-filled environment. We're like nurtured there for like nine months before we're even born in water but use respect for mother nature i tell you Because she can be wild, Mother Nature. Hmm. Huh. A lot of you have real deep connections to water. I'm just, is water, 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 water. Water is the giver of life. Honey, all these, these are all synchronicities that are coming together for something bigger. Signs from the universe, the water, the rainbows, the, they're all signs. Mother Nature's giving us clues. Mother Nature's giving us signs. Mother Nature can be cruel. <laughs> she can be. She can be as destructive as any force you'd ever want to contend with. And she's also very loving and very life-giving. The blueprints are within you. You know, some of you, you've got a lot of great missions upon this earth, Sagittarius. You're not meant to be liked by a lot of people. You're not meant to be liked by everybody. But you are meant to live your life purpose. And I think, you know, Mother Nature will cut away people from your life that are not meant to be there and things for you that were unhealthy for you. So do not cry when these people leave your life. It's like you have earned the right of safe passage. You, it's like you've suffered much, you've endured much, and now it's like your turn to have safe passage. Take care.